Hi, I'm Kenji. A viewer sent me a question, um, Yi Lu asks me, I want to know when the best time to visit Japan, what not to be missed, and what to be considered. Uh, thank you very much, Yi, for the question. Uh, this is a, a very good but uh, a difficult question to answer. Because uh, Japan may be a small country, but it's uh, very diverse in terms of uh, climate. Um, well, uh, easy question first. A couple of tips. Uh, buy a SIM card. Um, I, I usually uh, get uh, uh, a SIM card, buy it online, and get it delivered to my home or to my hotel. Uh, and there are um, vending machines and the shops that sell SIM cards in major international airports like Haneda, Narita and Kansai. Uh, um, years ago it was really difficult to uh, get my mobile working in Japan, uh, my, my British mobile uh, working in Japan, but uh, it's got uh, uh, much, much easier uh, to that connection. Uh, one more thing, uh, what to be considered. Uh, consider buying a, a Japan Rail Pass uh, railways, um, well developed system we have in Japan. Um, seven day passes, uh, like I, I don't know the exact price off the top of my head, I think it's about uh, 300 US dollars, uh, seven day pass. Um, and and uh, you can uh, literally go anywhere you like using uh, ex the extensive uh, railway system, JR system, uh, across the country. So consider buying a Japan rail railway pass in advance before you leave. So these are tips. Um, oh, one more. Um, in terms of cash and money, um, Japan is. Uh, still um, very uh, dependent on cash rather than uh, a credit card or card uh, or other forms of electronic payment. So um, get uh, plenty of cash um, and usually use uh, seven bank uh, cash machines that you find in uh, 7 Eleven convenience stores. Uh, there are machines that don't accept international cards. What, what were the other questions? Uh, best time to visit Japan? Uh, well, spring, uh, it's a nice season, a lot of people go to Japan to visit and visit there and uh, see uh, cherry blossoms. But uh, these are beautiful things, really. Uh, but it's a bit difficult to predict uh, when's the best, exactly best time uh, for um, these flowers. But, but it's nice. Uh, June, uh, it's a rainy season. I like it. <laughs> I was born, and uh, I'm born in uh, June. I'm a Gemini, <laughs> so I like June. It's a bit rainy. Um, but you may like to avoid I don't know. It depends on your liking. Um, July, August, very hot, um, very humid. And uh, my friend, a friend of mine, uh, Frank, uh, went to uh, Hokkaido last summer uh, to see some wildlife. And in Tokyo, he was literally melting. <laughs> um, I was hearing about. Uh, temperature of over 40 degrees centigrade. Sorry, I'm not familiar with Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Um, but there may be uh, cooler places uh, up in the mountain in Shinshu, Nagano. Um, Okinawa may be nice. Um, autumn, again, it's nice. Uh, October, November, um, those uh, Forest leaves are turning yellow and uh, uh, red, and those this and those um, uh, ancient capitals of uh, Kyoto and Nara may be a good idea. Uh, 
Uh, I know that uh, Miyajima in Hiroshima is uh, getting increasingly popular. Where else? Um, actually, um, it's really hard to pick one place. Um, but um, um, Ise. If I pick one, um, Ise may be maybe a good place. Um, this uh, Grand Shrine of Ise. Um, it's supposed to be uh, the most, or one of the most, sacred places in Japan, and it's got uh, loads of history. And um, everyone wants to go. Every Japanese wants to go to Ise. And um, um, when I worked for a company in Japan in Osaka, uh, they organized an uh, um, outing um, company um, excursion to Ise as um, every other company does. Um, I'm not saying this because I, uh, I have connection with Ise. Um, uh, a few years ago I um, organized an event, a book launch event for this book, uh, The Wisdom of uh, Isa Jingu, by, written by uh, uh, Kawaii Shinyo, Mr. Kawaii Shinyo. It's a beautiful book. Um, he, he, he worked for the Grand Shrine for many years and uh, He's a proponent, proponent of sustainability. The interesting thing about Ise is uh, its history. And every 20 years they celebrate uh, um, what is called a Shikinyan Sengu. Uh, they build a shrine houses every 20 years. And uh, the materials uh, for these uh, buildings are taken from the woods nearby and the uh, shrine buildings are surrounded by uh, vast woods. And the old materials are not to be wasted. Uh, they are brought to other places and used for building uh, shrine buildings in other shrines. And um, so our ancestors knew um, the idea of sustainability before modern scientists started to talk about it. It's interesting, isn't it? And um, it's also about the renewal of um, skills and knowledge, because um, by doing uh, uh, Shikinen and Sengu every 20 years, uh, the skills and knowledge of uh, craft craftsmen, old generation, uh, will be handed down to new new generation of craftsmen. So they learn from their fathers and uh, um, the older generation uh, so that uh, uh, these skills and knowledge will be um, maintained for many centuries. And uh, the new generation, uh, the these people, actually not only mimic the skills, they, they add a little bit of uh, creativity. Uh, so um, this is also about uh, innovation and creativity. It's, it's also interesting from that uh, aspect. Uh, speaking of Issei, um, in old days, uh, in Edo period, uh, 70, 80 and 90th century, uh, centuries um, there was a fashion of going to Ise. People from around the country uh, wanted to go to Ise, a uh, pilgrimage, and uh, there was this. Um, they 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 uh, traveled uh, from different parts of the country to visit Ise, and there was some uh, big. Um, cycles of uh, pilgrimage. Every 60 years, uh, three cycles, uh, there were um, um, times when millions of people visited uh, the uh, Grand Shrine of Ise um, from all over the place and uh, along the way they um, enjoy themselves and uh, 
people along the road supported that helped them and uh, they had uh, um, um, no, bl actually blast it's a part um, it's a mix of uh, religion and uh, tourism and they they and sometimes they uh, the these communities did a uh, lottery and uh, people who won um, uh, can go could go to Ise with the support of other people in the community but um, maybe um, it's a once in a lifetime experience for these uh, people including um, people in the working in agriculture they um, had an opportunity to visit Ise uh, once, uh, once in a lifetime because they take turns surgery and um, uh, they uh, one, uh, uh, on the way along the way they picked up some souvenirs like um, textile for their fellow community members um, and uh, um, they had a really fun well actually there were some people who visited the brothels um, in Ise and along the road uh, well our countrymen were really laid back in pre-modern period and it's interesting um, let me show you this picture uh, this is um, Ukiyo-e uh, by Utagawa uh, Hiroshige depicting um, can you see uh, depicting the um, river crossing in Miyagawa Miyagawa no Watashi and perhaps you can imagine uh, what was going on in Ise. Uh, so uh, there's loads of uh, stories, um, many uh, shrines to visit and uh, nice food. So yeah, you may like to check it out. Um, if there are any, uh, anything that you'd like to know about the Japanese culture, um, particularly business culture, uh, please let me know. Um, by commenting here. Thank you for watching. I'm Kenji Nagoshi. See you in the next video. Bye!